breaking. Voyager 1 has officially left the solar system. Although there have been no formal announcements by NASA, Rocket Boom is going to go out on the edge and declare that Voyager 1 has officially left the solar system. This is a great feat for humanity to date. I mean, who is crazy enough to say, let's build a spacecraft, get it out of the solar system, and then get enough people to work together to make it happen? Launched in 1977, packed with a golden record of some of humanity's greatest assets, Gravity Assist enabled the craft to slingshot its way around four gas giants up close, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, leading to incredible astronomical discoveries and beautiful imagery, including the famous family portrait. Our first image of the solar system is seen from the outside. Now, based on cosmic wave experiments conducted in search of the region beyond the heliopause, a compelling analysis last week provided by Houston blogger Eric Berger suggests that the Voyager has actually now crossed beyond the border. To break on through to the other side, to break on through to the other side. Berger presents NASA's three criteria for confirming the Voyager's departure. An increase in high energy cosmic rays originating from outside of our solar system. Check. Two, a drop in charged particles emanating from the sun. Check. And a change in direction of the magnetic field. Apparently data on this third criteria has not been confirmed, though many astronomers are suggesting that the signs we do have are enough and clearly point to Voyager's exodus from the heliopause. So, we're going to side with Berger on this one and not wait for NASA's press department to make this one up. For the sake of memorializing the date, even though it may not be exactly exact, kind of like Columbus Day and Thanksgiving Day are not on the exact date, Rocket Boom is going to declare that today is the day. Hello from the children of planet Earth.